Yeah. So, uh, Carlos, how do you think you, you can... Yeah, you're looking, looking at you, yeah. yeah. How, do, how do you think you sort of started off your, your rebirth at the Sixers? Um, happy with it, to be fair. Um, haven't had much of a chance with the bat as yet, um, but I've been trying to work behind the scenes to be sure that when I'm called upon that I'm ready. Um, but it's a good reflection on the batting unit as well. Um, Bowling-wise, happy-ish. Um, just want to be a more consistent wicket taker. So over the course of the tournament, that's something that I'd be looking at. But so far, happy with the execution and the results, to be fair. Um, we saw your new wicket celebration. <laughs> run, run us through that one. How, how did that come about? Um, he's a Jamaican entertainer. Um, he normally creates all the um, big dance hall dances, ding dong. Um, and it just popped up on my timeline once and there's a few more complex ones that I don't want to try for risk of injury um, but with that one I want I said yeah probably able to get it in just in enough time for the cameras to catch it um, and yeah just another way to enjoy the game and bring some smiles to the face of the fans. Um, Six has got a win and a, and, a, and, a, and a loss so far but how, that was a big win how much does momentum matter in a tournament like this? Um, it's massive. I don't think it at the stage as yet where uh, the momentum makes or breaks you. Um, but what I would say is from the first two games what's been good is that we've dominated, um, as we mentioned in the team meetings, 80% of the first game or 20% was just not good enough to, to win. Um, and then in the second game we probably dominated 99% of it, um, a record win. So what's been good over the two games is the consistency and long may that continue over the course of a big tournament or a long tournament you have big wins, big losses, but it's how well you fare in these close games. Okay. Um, and who's impressed you so far here at the Sixers? Which players? Um, I'd probably say not Garinda because he's looking very, <laughs> <laughs> he's looking at me um, very hard, he's putting me under a bit of pressure. Um, Jack Edwards, because I've seen him in the under 19 um, and it was close with Mickey when I was here last time. Um, I always knew he had this younger brother, but it's the first time I've seen him close up. Um, and a real talented cricketer, good in the field. Um, and even though he used to bowl, um, but he looks good in the nets with the ball as well. And then we see what he can do with the bat. So for me, he looks a complete package. And you see how everyone's raving about Cameron Green. I haven't seen him, but yeah, Jack Edwards is a, a massive prospect in my opinion. And um, the Sixers play the Strikers up next on, on Sunday. Have uh, you had a chance to look at them on TV? And yeah, I had. Um, my commentator friend Peter Sill done very well last night, so we'll be locking horns against each other. Looking forward to that. Um, some good friends in Strikers, to be fair. Phil Salt, Barbadian um, descent, um, playing for England. Uh, I met him in Australia, so proper 360. Um, and we did some quarantine together as well. Um, so it'd be good to catch up with the boys, Rashid Khan, good friend of mine. Um, we've played all around the world together, either in the same team or against each other. So looking forward to catching up with him, a real rock star. And then Adelaide Strikers is just a good team, um, seem a very balanced team. And it'd be good to lock horns with them, hopefully come out on top. But you know, if the most important thing for me is just enjoying the challenges. How do you combat Rash? Jeez. Um, He's not been the best against left-handers, um, so Husey, up to you, my brother. Um, <laughs> but I think we have we have um, individual plans for each of the players. Um, but for me, my message to any team, any teammates would always be, you know, use the team plan within your remit. However, you play him. If you know, it's better to play him off the back foot. But you're not the best back foot player, then get off strike. Let the back foot player have him. If you don't feel comfortable, get off strike. There will be the guy that you know decides. You know, I'm going to take him down. If you take him down and you lose your wicket, we as a team need to be supportive. That that was your decision. You tried, you didn't execute. Um, and yeah, I mean, some teams have been using the plan of not letting him get any wickets. Um, four for twenty, four for twenty-four. Um, but yeah, as a team, we haven't sat and decided it as yet, but he's, he's a gun. He's a massive, massive profile, massive player, and his wickets mean a lot for them. So hopefully the first thing will be to negate the wicket-taking ability, but if we can get on top of him and do something similar to what Hobart Hurricanes did and Darcy Short effect, um, that would be great as well. Perfect. Easy. <laughs>